Hey everybody, welcome back to how to make a non-stretch cover for your dress form. You can see that my ditto form has her her upper bodice pieces all sewn together. We did that in part two, so if you missed that, go back and check that out. In this um, part, I'm going to show you how to drape the lower sections and then we'll attach them to the upper sections. And I said there wasn't going to be anything new in terms of techniques, and I really don't know if this qualifies as a new technique. I kind of feel bad that I said that, um, but I'll make a note of it for people who aren't watching. Because these lower pieces are really a series of rectangles or near rectangle shape, in my case, because I don't have any significant curve at the waist, so really, it's going to be a matter of just draping, you know, the, you know, these, basically they're rectangles um, with a little bit of curve on the side. I decided to prep my fabric and draw my horizontal balance line across the entire piece of fabric. So you can see here that I just used my L-shaped ruler and I just drew one long continuous line and that's the line that I'm going to line up with the hip line on my ditto form. So we'll start with the center front and um, that's a very narrow piece for me. I think it's four inches at the bottom. So for my center front piece you can see I've already pressed the center front edge up. So I am just going to tear this piece to be maybe five inches because it's really um, a narrow piece. So let me go ahead and just clip here. All right, and then I'll just give it a little, an added little press. I was heating up my iron. All right, so this is gonna be my center front edge and I'll just make a center front right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prep all the pieces so we don't have to jump back and forth to finish this. So my side front piece measures at its widest, which would be where my full hip is, it measures a little over eight inches, like eight and a half inches. So I'm going to make that section, we'll make that 10 inches. So again, I'm going to snip and rip. All right, and then give that a little press. And just to keep everything straight, I am going to just mark on here you know, side front. Okay, so I've got my center front, I've got my side front. My center back is four inches. So we'll make this center back piece. Let me just start by, you know, getting my inch at the center back. Okay, and then we'll snip this to be um, five inches. Okay, so this is going to be my center back. And I'll just make a center back here. And then the last piece I need is the side back. So that piece, the widest part of that piece is five inches. So we will make, I think I'll just make it six inches. It really doesn't need a lot of extra because like I said, it's like a rectangle. So let's make this one six inches approximately. 
All right, so this is my official extra scrap. I'll put that to the side. And I've got my, um, my side back piece. I'll just make a note here, side back. All right. All right, so now we can go to the, the dress form and I'll show you how to drape these pieces. All right, so I've got my center front piece right here and I'm gonna start by just pinning down the bottom edge of the top pieces so it doesn't move. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my center front piece and I'm gonna line up my horizontal balance line down here with the full hip horizontal balance line and I'm gonna pin that. Like this. And then I think I can just pin it all in one like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pin along to my princess seam line over here. And clearly you can see already too much fabric so let me just cut this fabric okay so we've got we've got that pinned on nicely like that and I'll put one pin in the center here just to hold that and then basically I'm just gonna smooth this over my belly to the um, princess style line, which is right here. I'm gonna smooth up. make sure that that's nice and even at the center front. And then we're going to just pin down the princess seam line like that. smoothing, make sure you're not pulling the center front edge away from the center front line. I'm, I'm usually guilty of doing that sometimes. I'm just going to make sure that stays put. Alright, so then the next step is to mark the style lines through the fabric so I'll just mark here and then when it comes just straight down Actually, I screwed that up. I pulled it too tight, so I re-anchored my center front. And you can see now, this is the correct style line to here. So it is important not to over-pull your pieces. So you can see here, I pulled it a little bit away from center front, and I started to draw this line, which this is actually a boo-boo. Okay, so you want to make sure when you're, you're draping it, even though it is a simple shape, you don't want to pull it too far away or you don't want to pull it off of center front. So that completes that draping. And for these pieces, I'm just going to trim them close. I'll put up the half an inch at the end. All right, so now I'm going to do my side front. And again, it's going to be the same thing where I line up my horizontal balance line at the full hip. OK, 
Okay, and I'm just going to wrap it around to the side. Oops. Let me just put a pin here to hold this. All right, and then I'm just going to use, get my horizontal balance line lined up. And then we're going to smooth this straight up. So I'm going to use this pin up here to get that to match. And I'm going to pin along the princess seam line. that I dashed in. And I'm going to cut the extra length off I don't need over here. Okay. And because it's got a curve, I'm also going to put some small clips in to allow the fabric to snug up. So even if it's a minor curve, like something like, you know, this Empire waist, clipping it really helps it lay nicely. Seam. And then I'm going to pin along my side seam. All right, so you can see I've got this nice smooth shape. So now I'm going to mark my side seam. And my Empire waist seam. And my princess seam. All right, so that defines the, um, the side front piece. So I am cheating a little bit by not taking the pieces off and truing up the edges, adding the seam allowances, trimming off the extra like I did for the upper pieces. But because these are such simple pieces, I feel like I can get away with that. So I'm just going to leave this one here, and I'm going to drape the last two pieces and then I'll take them all off, I'll true them up, I'll add the seam allowances, I'll sew them together and I'll show you what it looks like. So let's do the center back next. Okay, and again, I'm gonna use the same process of lining up my full hip. And I'm going to just add a few pins along the center back. I'm going to put that right in the, um, right in the Empire waistline. And then I'm going to pin across to my um, my princess seam line and this is going to need a little bit of a clip here because I have a little curve to my back 
So I need to allow that to lay flat against my contour of my back. That's one of the things about the Ditto form. I really, um, I really think it's going to help me do some great fitting for myself because it really shows all the contours of my shape. All right, so here is my center back. So let me just define that. I just have to draw across the Ampere waist and then down the princess seam. Okay. All right. Let me just cut off the extra. I'm going to cut off the extra here a little bit. This is really close to a half an inch. Okay. All right, so there is my center back. And I do have this howl, um, a little bit of a hollow along my spine here, so I'm just going to put some pins in there so you can see that that follows nicely um, my center back. Now for the final piece, I'm going to take my side back and I'm going to line up that. Horizontal balance line at the hip. use the same pin, I think. So if you're working with a piece of fabric and it's flopping around on you, just put a pin in it and hold it up. So you can use pins as like a second or third hand and that will help you um, all right, so there's my hip line. Now we're just gonna smooth up and I'm gonna trim this. Take out these pins and just use the same pin to mark the princess seam here. And then we can get the top of the side seam right there. And I'll just take these pins out and smooth it right to the side seam. Okay, and again, see how this fabric is popping up? If you let that release, a little bit you can get that curve in there that you need you know make sure you're pulling it snugly okay so there's my side back and again I'm just going to do a little clip right here okay all right, so that's laying really nice. I'm going to draw my princess seam. My side seam. And my Empire waist. All right, so even without it being trimmed, you can see that horizontal balance line is lining up nicely across the whole bottom edge of my cover. So I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all these pieces off. I'm going to true them up 
by darkening in the stitching line, I'm going to add the half an inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew them together and then we'll pin it on so I can show you how it came out. So I will be right back. Oh, and if you need details on how to, you know, true up these pieces, check out part two because I really went into detail about how to, you know, draw the stitching lines and add your seam allowance. So I'm basically going to do the exact same thing to these pieces. I'm going to sew them together and then I'll be right back. All right, here is my cover, and you can see I don't even have it pinned on yet. Let me just pin it, you know, center back and impure waist. So all of my seams match, my, my um, side seams match, my back princess seam matches, my side seam matches, my front princess seam matches. All right, so there is my lower section all sewn together. And you can see it matches really nicely. All right, so as I, th I think you can see um, the entire cover from this view as well. Um, that completes the draping section of this tutorial. In part four, I'm going to show you how to take apart the pieces and create paper pattern pieces. And then we're going to sew together a full front and full back. So join me for part four in our continuing journey of how to make a non-stretch fabric cover for your dress form. I hope you're enjoying this. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I will help you. If you're interested in ditto form, dress forms, um, there's a link for that below as well. So make sure you check that out. And if you're working with your personal dress form and you have specific questions on how to work with it, please, you know, let me know and I will help you. So have a great day and I'll see you in part four.